away. I thought the ice queen might have melted. Where's the kids? A asleep. Don't disturb them. Don't! Oh. You think after all this time, without even a phone call or a postcard, that you can simply worm your way back in here as if nothing has happened? You have got to be joking! Come on, don't be like this. I've just got home. I want to be no, with well, you. I don't want to be Anywhere with you! Do you know what I've had to contend with in your absence? Can you even bring your tiny little mind to think what might have been happening here while you've been away? No doubt living it up, enjoying the high life. Come on, look. I can understand you're a bit upset. Upset?! <gasps> I think that must be the understatement of the century! But I'm trying to make it better. I want to hold my wife in my arms. I've thought of nothing oh, else. Really? Well, bully for you. But I'm afraid life never goes according to plan. Believe me, I know. Look, I know I've been a bit evasive. <laughs> evasive? Invisible, more like. But that's been the nature of the work I've been doing. <sighs> Things in Russia, they got a bit... Well, I'm back now. And things are going to be better. I promise you. I love you. Well, excuse me if I fail to fall for your charms. Darling. I've had to cope with the unimaginable while you've been away. I fought hard to keep this family together. And never once did I think we'd get through. But, but somehow, miraculously, we survived. And all that time, do you know how I felt? I felt like a widow because of you. <laughs> and do you know what? Now you're back. I think I preferred it on my own. Seeing you here, you utterly disgust me. As far as I'm concerned, you don't exist anymore. We're here to interview Shelley Bennett. Kids. They're not in their rooms. Or are you going to tell me they don't exist as well? They slept at their friend's house. What's all this? You had another one of your episodes. I can't leave you alone for five minutes, can I? Come on, get up. You look a mess. I've got a lot to do today. You say you have no recollection of what's happened to you, or why Mr. Cotter should report you missing. No, no, I don't. We've tried to contact Mr. Cotter several times since your reappearance without success. You don't know why that would be. Sorry, I haven't heard from him. Sorry, 
Not interrupting, am I? No. We're on our way. Make sure you contact us if you remember anything. We expect to hear from you soon. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Is, um, is everything okay? Yeah. Yes? Oh, excuse me, madam. I wonder if you can help me. Is, is this your postcard? Um, yes. Oh, it is. Uh, that's great. You see, I'm from the gas board. The thing is, we've had a few concerns. Really? Uh, Do you want to uh, no, no, madam. Um, we've been sending out uh, preferred customer letters and you failed to respond. Have I? Yeah, um, did you not receive your preferred customer package? No, no, I don't think I have. I'm oh, oh, well, how much do you spend on gas a year? Like, uh, £300? Well, with Golden Gas, you could save up to £80. Your gas bills could drop to £220. Really? That's incredible! I guess you better come in. <laughs> yeah, mate. Got a pack last night. Bloody naked I am. <sighs> I see things here ain't changed for the better. Bloody coons, wogs, and pecky still in charge. And to think my grandfather put his life in a lane for this country. No wonder everyone we know is moving to Spain. Great Britain. Bad. Who can Oh, you're back. Hang on, mate. Two seconds. Mum? I'm so sorry about what happened yesterday. Half of that. To say anything to your father about the police, all those boxes he's been having delivered. Do you hear me? When did he get home? Last night, without warning. As if things couldn't get any worse. I love you, Mum. I know the truth about the drugs, Mum. I know how they got under my bed. Kindly put them there. She's been filmed doing a drug deal. It was her, Mum, not. Shh! Mustn't mention any of this in front of your father. Our main problem now, how do we prevent your blabbermouth sister from letting the cat out the bag? Hello, Moonbeam. Glad to see your old dad again, are you? Yeah, I missed you so much, Dad. I got your cards at my party. Did you, kid? A special card for a special girl. Cost me one eighty five of that card, did you know? Quite a lot for a card in Russia, you know. I know. Dad, you'll never guess what. I've got so much to tell you. you never guess what happened. I'm sure your Dad doesn't want to be bored with what's been going on in our lives, Emma. Let's find out what's been happening in his. Have you got some presents? If I ever. Special Russian ones too, I may add. <gasps> Why don't you go and put the cow on? Or don't that exist either? I'll make us all a nice cup of tea, shall I? Well, from a Russian princess, we've got the latest in consumer electronic gadgetry. <gasps> you got me a video iPod! Oh my god! Yep, and at the equivalent of 300 quid, it ain't come cheap. <gasps> oh my god, I'm so excited. Just wait until Tabitha sees this. She's gonna be so jealous. And for your sister, I got her an indigenous Russian handcrafted knitted jumper. She'd look good on her too if she ever manages to wipe that permanent sulk off her face. She got a boyfriend yet? Cost 40 quid that did. She better wear it. And for your brother, who I'm yet to be welcomed home by, I've got this radio thing that I picked up at a garage for 20 quid worth of petrol. I'm sure you'll be able to fix it. You always were into that sort of thing. No, it's not book all the time. And you're gonna start to behave like a proper man. Well, kettle's on. Shouldn't take too long. <sighs> oh, has your dad given you all his nice presents? That's nice, Susan T. Well, that's you lot sorted. Where's all that stuff been sending home? 
You have been getting it, haven't you? It's worth a small fortune. Uh, no. yes. Well, have you or haven't you? Yes and no. I've been taking your deliveries as I always do. Can't we talk about this later? Let's just enjoy having you home, can't we? Yeah. So, I imagine you signed up all the ladies in the street with your sales patter. No, not really. You're the first. Am I really? Well, shocking. Although I am amazed. Attractive young stud like yourself. Where were we? The tea. Oh! oh. oh. I'm sorry, here. I can manage. Oh, I don't know what came over me. I do apologise. You must have distracted me. I'm soaking wet. Oh. oh, you can't go out like that. People will think you've, you know... I, I've got a dryer in my kitchen. and Why don't you nip upstairs and take your things off and I'll, I'll pop them in the dryer for you. It'll only take a minute to dry. What? Oh, there's no need to look so coy. It's only... Spilt tea, after all, isn't it? It's up here, you say? Mm. Nobody will ever Thanks for letting me stay. After everything I've put you through. You can stay as long as you need to, I've told you that. I'll talk to the others. They'll understand. Cup of tea? Yeah, please. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Didn't know what? What is it? I'm sorry. It slipped my mind. What? It's... Dougie. Anything to your father about the police, the drug bust, and them taking away his boxes. Do you understand me? Oh. Everything all right? Yeah. Oh, you can't go out like that. Come on, give me those. One out out there, wet too. Bring them down as well. It'll only take five minutes to dry. Sammy? It's Luke. Can't be, yeah. Look, this is really important. Nimro says you and Gavin went to the police station with a tape of my cousin Kylie doing a drug deal. Is that right? Well, the thing is, we urgently need a copy of that tape. Can you get us one fast? What do you mean you don't know where he is? He's the only one with the tape. I've got to go. I've got to get in business. Keep you in the lifestyle you're accustomed to. Why are you both standing here like melons? Look, I'm going to go back to Nimrod so I don't feel safe here. I know what you mean. I don't think it's going to be too long before your father demands to know the truth. I'm going to give Sammy a call, try and get a copy of the tape. Are you going to be alright here? I love you. Mm. 
here. I can't believe he's dead after everything we went through. What am I going to do now? I've got nothing. I've told you before, you don't need to want for nothing. You can stay living here. I'll look after you. And the baby. You'll be safe here. Are they nearly dry yet? Yeah? I hope you moment. But that should be the last thing on your mind. It's not every day that I find myself alone with a half-naked stud in my kitchen. We could have some fun. Some serious fun. I don't really think so. Go on. Why not? Relax. Give in to your darkest sexual fantasies. I am. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't have to say anything. Just go with how you feel. I've got a gas job to do. Oh, no, I'll forget about that. I can make it worth your while. How much do you make an hour? I can double it, treble it, make you an offer. Too good to refuse. I don't think so. I think I'd better get dressed. <laughs> well, think about it. I'm sure it's not every day that somebody makes you such an exciting offer. You know where I am. So what is it you want this time? I've called round to see if you've finally decided to tell me what's going on at school. You're not there to teach, are you? You need to cover up something to do with that inventory. Now, what am I? Taking you this long to figure out, has it? I want you to let me help you. Let me in on your secret and I'll leave you alone. Leave me alone? Well, you'll have to do better than that if you're to phase me. You pathetic dribble of a girl. Can you even spell self-esteem? Yes, it's S-E-L-F. Oh, as usual, you're way off mark. Now stop wasting my life. Oh, please, Auntie, I just want to be like you. Why won't you let me in? You keep me on edge all the time. You always have done, ever since we were children. Get out on the edge! <laughs> Where you belong! I oh, know I'm not your real sister. But why can't we be close? I love you. I want to be part of your family. Um, I'm off now, OK? I'll see myself out. Yes. <laughs> Bye. I didn't know we had company. We don't now, because of you. She just thought she had a headache coming on. What happened to you? We had the police round saying you were missing. It was Clint. He had me locked up and tied in the cellar. It's a madman, Paul. He's dangerous. Look, it's the only way 
I'm here now. I killed him. You killed him? It's the only way I could escape alive. The police don't know. Nobody knows. Oh, you're the only one I've told. Then we'll keep it that way, Jen. He ain't gonna get you again. Tell me where they are. You have been receiving them, haven't you? Yes! Then where the hell are they, woman? We had a bit of a problem. Problem? For some reason, the police had been watching the, the house. The police? And yesterday morning at 6am promptly, they stormed their way in and took possession of everything. They've taken all the boxes? Oh, good riddance oh. too, considering the filth that was in them. Do you know how humiliated I felt being strip searched? They're accused of harboring child porn of all things. Whatever possessed you to get involved in that sort of a thing? Though considering I really shouldn't be too surprised. Well, thank goodness you're finally back. You can get yourself down there and set the record straight now. They've taken all the boxes. They've taken all the boxes. Do you know how much they're worth? <laughs> This is Groves. I'm from Chang Financial Services. Uh, do come in. I don't care what they're worth! What about me? Emma. You've no idea, have you? You've no idea what you've done. How am I going to explain this? You can explain it to the police. That's who you can explain it to. Telling them I'm innocent of child porn. Oh, for goodness sake, we only put that stuff in the boxes so we can flog them. Do you really think I'm that stupid? Oh, let me wonder. Why were the police watching the house in the first place? I don't know. Something to do with drug dealing. Drug dealing? Yes. Luke had some drugs stashed under his bed. No, it turns out I had nothing to do with him. Whatsoever. Emma! Luke, so it was that little run's fault, was it? And to think he sat there all smiley faced as if there wasn't a care in the world. So this is where you are, my dear. Bitch. Oh. You thought you'd killed me, didn't you? You thought you'd done me. Well, isn't this a surprise? Get away from me! What's he saying? Get out of my house. I don't think so. I'm here to collect my first payment. Money. But I don't have any money. You heard her. She can't pay you, so just... Get out. Unfortunately, it isn't that easy. You want me signed a contract. She's agreed to make us payments on a rather large loan she's taken out. So I ain't going anywhere. Hello, police? No, you don't. No! Help me! Get off of her! No! <laughs> Stop. Learned your lesson, eh, Chris? So determined to play the hero! Get off Leave my dog alone! Oh, What's so special about him, anyway? It's not as if it's his child you're carrying it. We all know whose child it really is. Ignore him, Mum. You're nothing but a psycho. A crazed psycho. She's lying to you all. <laughs> she's having you on. <laughs> it's not your husband's child she's carrying, Mrs. Groves. We were lovers. It's mine. <laughs> Don't listen to him, Rosie. He's a nutter. His dog's baby is done. Don't listen to him, Mum. Shelly's right. Shut your face. Don't you have my son. <laughs> 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 Sorry to have inconvenienced you all. I'll be back tomorrow for your first print. You signed the contract, Mrs. Grimes. I suggest you read the small print. If you can't pay up, we'll take your house. Good day. Earlier. Hello? I told you not to say anything. Well, I didn't know, did I? Leave this to me and your father. I don't want you making things any worse. 
though how things could be any worse. Dad, I've calmed down once he knows Link's innocent. Oh, you think so, do you? Yeah. They're, they're coming to collect the boxes. They're coming to collect the boxes in 15 minutes. What do I tell them? I can't believe you, Mum. Have you seen the APR you've signed up to? This will take years to pay off! I don't know what you mean. It's hundreds of thousands of pounds. They could take the house, they could take everything. You have signed it all away. Everything. Just how stupid are you? I panicked! I didn't know what I was doing. Bank were no help. Loan was my only chance. But this is no loan. Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me, Mum? There's no way we can pay off this kind of money. Not in a million years. Where are we going to find it, eh? I, I, I didn't know! Rosie? Rosie, are you okay? No, yeah, I, I, Paul! I, I, Paul, call your ambulance, quickly! No! I'm okay. I'm okay. Are you sure? You don't look well. I can manage. Where are you going? Out! to try and fix this mess. We managed to put him off till tomorrow. Now, are you going to tell me what that no good son of mine is? Hello again. About that arrangement you offered me, I'd like to take you up. 